Question 15 is one of those multiple choice questions where your CAS calculator is of little to no use. You, you need to know what's going on here. You need to understand the properties that come with integration. So you're given a definite integral and you're given what that equals, it equals 20. Then you're given another definite integral and you're expected to find what A is. Now, how do we handle this? Well, we grab this integral. And we need to recognize the linearity property. The great thing about integrals is you can split them up if you've got plus and minuses in between terms. So let's split it up. So we're integrating from 0 to 5 of 2 times g of x dx plus 0 to 5 of ax dx. And we know that equals 90. What else can we do? Well, these quantities out the front, these coefficients can go right out the front of our integrals, provided they're constants. So I'm assuming A is some constant value not, a, not associated with X. So let's take those values out. We get 2 out the front here, and we get A out the front here. And that all equals 90. Well, we know the value of this. They gave us the value of this up here. We know that's 20. So 2 times 20 gives us 40. We can integrate here. That's x squared on 2. And that equals 90. Okay, let's keep going. So let's put the 40 on the other side. So we get a times x squared on 2 from 5 to 0 equals 50. Now we can integrate this. We get 25a on 2 equals 50. Times by 2, we get 25a equals 100. And we divide both sides by 25 to get a equals 4. So looking at our multiple choice options, we know that the answer is B.